This is a piece in the camp house. It is a sewing table. It is in rough shape, but we are going to fix all of that. I am not going to be taking the sewing machine out of it because it's not mine and it's going right back into the camp house. I am just going to be painting it. I grew up in Australia watching my dad build and restore and create things and the passion that lives in him lives in me too. So I decided to start this channel after some encouragement from my husband. My name is Sarah, this is 445 Designs and if you are new, I am so glad that you have clicked on this channel. If you are returning, guys, I'm so thankful for you. Thank you for showing up week after week. I just love you to pieces. This channel is all about loving old furniture back to life again. I, like I said, have a passion for restoring things and this is just my vlog, my journal of that journey. And I'm so thankful that you guys are here. I have cleaned it, fixed it, sanded it, now I'm going to prime it. Using Dixie Belle paint on this. So I am going with my Zinza 123 water base primer in white because I'm going to be using apricot on the top of this then coming down with terracotta and then I think the last one is rusty nail. I will not be spraying this I will be painting it on with a roller it is water based. I said I was going to use a roller but you know what I'm going to use a paintbrush just cause going to use my zebra little palm angle brush it's two inches and I'm going in with light coats I'm going to do multiple coats but um, light thin is what I mean not light good lord Probably end up doing two coats of this. Okay, so what we're looking at here is two coats of the Zinza 123, two coats of shellac and this is going to be like apricot and I really can't have it, can't have it. <laughs> so, kills a chip brush and I'm just going to do, I don't have it, it's not anywhere else, it's just on here which is the, um, the top coat was missing and that's why we have these round rings because they were pots. Uh, from the previous owner. <clears throat> okay, looks like it's working. Still needs a lot more time to dry, but can't see the watermark anymore or any bleed through. Yay! <laughs> The fall Halloween competition, my entry for that comes out on the 23rd. So I did a poll on Instagram and on and YouTube because I couldn't decide between the colors. And DIY won, so that is going to have my 
DIY colors, but I had it was such a narrow win and I had such a strong response on both sides. I thought, why not? I had this piece in the house, why not just go ahead and do this piece as well? So that's why I am doing this piece. I'm doing really light, thin, not light, thin coat. I am going to need several coats, definitely to maybe a touch up here and there. But this is so beautiful, this color. I've been watching Kacha. I hope that's how you say it. I'm horrible at saying names probably. I'm so sorry. Not that I think she would be watching me anyway. She's like a huge channel. I'm sure you're all aware. <laughs> she wouldn't be watching my little old channel. But um, she puts gold on everything and I love it. It's definitely, she's more of a glam bling kind of girl and I love it. Well, she's very diverse. Shouldn't put her in a box. I'm sure she wouldn't want to be put in a box. But, um... I was influenced by that and I thought, you know what, I'm going to put some gold on this piece too since it's going to be pretty and delicate. So, that's fun. Same brush, new colour. Still the same brush. I'm gonna wipe some of it off though because I have a I do have a fair amount of paint on here. Happy with that? There's the first go round. I'm gonna let that dry overnight and second coat tomorrow. Hey guys, so I'm just jumping in again to say thank you to two people. Uh, someone that is choosing to remain anonymous, thank you so much for buying me a five coffees i appreciate you very much and to michelle i appreciate you and i'm so grateful for your gift of a coffee your generosity guys is not lost on me and i really am grateful and thank you very much all right let's jump back into the video bye okay yes <laughs> Two seconds ago, apricot was up here and this was down there. It wasn't working. I got up this morning and I took a look at it. It wasn't working. So I swapped it, swapped it around. I'm going to do second coat now 
and I won't bore you with that but I'm going to do second coat and when that's dry I'm going to come back and do blending in between colours. I'm going to do a wash now. I have my paintbrush, a cloth, and my spray bottle. I'm doing a wash in the color Drop Cloth by Dixie Bell. It's like a creamy white color. I think it will look really good uh, over it. I'm going to wet my brush completely, then squeeze it out and dip it in the drop cloth just ever so slightly, dip it in the water again and drag it over the top. I saw this method on Kacha. Okay, so I am going to be putting gold leaf on the bottom of this. I have leftover gold leaf from my kids' art class. I homeschool the kids, and so I have the adhesive and I have the sealer. I am going to be sealing the piece in wax, but I do want to put the sealer over the, where the gold leaf is and keep, can seal it in. I am going to be using a little artist brush to put the glue on and then this to dust off the gold So leaf. the glue is on all the feet. I'm going to let that dry for 30 minutes and come back and put the gold leaf on. I honestly have no idea if it's been 30 minutes but it's clear so that's a good, good sign. It's supposed to be clear. Now 
If you are new, you don't realize this about me, but you soon will. <laughs> I am not a delicate person. And gold leaf is delicate. Why? Why am I doing this to myself? I don't know. But I'm going to give it a go. I actually don't want it perfect. Sorry for people out there that are like, why is this not going on perfectly? I actually put the glue on very sparingly and sort of up and not, you know, I didn't go straight across and all the way down. So I really like that. I want that effect of it going from solid up to, and it's just sort of looking like it's peeling away. So, I like that effect. Looks good. Okay. Uh, in the beginning, <laughs> I had swapped the lighter colour with the darker rusty nail. I, the apricot was up here and it just wasn't looking right. That happens a lot to me on my pieces. I don't know if it's the same for you guys and, or if it is and you feel like, oh no, I, why can't I get this right? It's all about slapping the paint on there, having an idea and a direction in which to go, but being flexible enough to like change along the way if you have to. And that's what I totally did because it just was not looking right. <laughs> with the lighter one on top and then the darker on top but uh, on the bottom but now looks so good I'm so so happy with it I liked the wash on it as well I did a wash in drop cloth and it just brought it all together it gave it a unified washed out color like terracotta this middle color is called terracotta but I have a terracotta pot and it's got sort of a whitewash look to it and I really like that rustic look so this is a lot of fun i love blending with dixie bell it is great be on the lookout for that october 23rd video i am so thankful for you guys i'm glad that you are here enjoy the after shots and i will see you on next week's video bye guys <laughs>